Hey guys, Mitchell Bouchard and welcome to Tabletop Tuesdays. Um, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about atmosphere aerosol and I'm going to get a little bit into what it can do for your shot and how you can go about doing it. So atmosphere aerosol, um, this stuff is awesome. Um, if you don't have any atmosphere aerosol and you are doing cinematography or if you're looking to um, take your cinematography to the next level, I recommend picking one up. It costs $10 per pack, um, but it can last for a long time. And I've been using this one for three or four shoots uh, pretty recently. Now, what is atmosphere aerosol? To put it simply, atmosphere aerosol is a way to add haze to your scene. If your shot is really flat and you wanna really take it to the next level, if you want to help the light pass through and add more of that three-dimensional look, then use some haze. So, <coughs> God, that's haze. When I use haze, I recommend um, utilizing it more in your background. Um, try not to get it in front of your actor's face or in my face. But this stuff is phenomenal. Now, what's a good scenario that you would use haze for? I would say that I would utilize haze definitely for uh, your more uh, low-key dramatic scenes. So, so for instance, I just utilized haze yesterday for um, an inking video course. Now, the reason I used it was because I wanted to give it a much more cinematic feel. And this was definitely one way we could do that. I knew it was gonna be dark and I really wanted the rim light to really show and to really um, come into play during the scene. As you can see here, the highlights, I really wanted that to be the prominent light that would kind of take over the scene. Um, it really helped add drama. Um, you could really see the um, light passing through and it added, it added a lot more mystery to the shot and hopefully you guys utilize this as well. Um, you know, um, little things like this can really elevate your production. Even if you're working by yourself, you don't need a big hazer because you can buy a big haze machine for three, four, five hundred dollars but instead you can get these and the benefits are you can use this in a car. I haven't used all my cans yet and I don't use it for all of my shots but I know when I am using it, I am critically thinking about my shot why I need it, what I want it to achieve, and what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple shots right here where I didn't use it. Now I want to show you guys a couple shots from projects that I recently produced and uh, directed. What I want you guys to do is really think about the haze and what it's doing for your shot. The haze really adds that cinematic feel, but most importantly, it adds um, it adds layers. So a lot of us cinematographers, we're trying to achieve more depth. So we're opening up the aperture. When we're shooting outside, we're using variable NDs. We're gonna have episodes on all this stuff, by the way, guys. Um, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do because um, that's what this channel is. It's all about providing um, valuable filmmaking information to all filmmakers across the globe. So uh, we're really excited about that. In terms of things that I do not like about Haze is that you can definitely add too much. I do have a couple shots where I have added too much Haze and it adds a little too much grain in your shot. So kind of be aware of that. Kind of like lighting. Lighting is all about controlling your scene and when you can understand lighting, which we're gonna be doing in, um, which is what Red Cape Learning is all about, it's really breaking the ice and um, teaching lighting, making it easier for you guys. So for instance, if I spray a little bit of haze here, 
And what you want to do is let the haze kind of set for a little bit. Um, the only thing is sometimes it's really hard to measure how much is in the shot. And if you're in between takes and if you're not replenishing and if you're not adding enough at the right times, you could have one shot where you have no haze and then another shot where there's too much and your scenes don't work well together. Uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind. All in all, this is a fantastic product. If you guys want me to go more in depth about haze, we can do that in a different episode. If you guys are looking to take your cinematography to the next level, I have a free one hour cinematography 101 course where I talk about LED lighting, tungsten, how to diffuse light, what it means, and so on. We actually go outside and achieve shallow depth of field. So if you guys want to check that out, it's all in the descriptions below. Also, follow me at Red Cape Learning or go to redcapelearning.com. Again, I'm your host, Mitchell Bouchard. Thank you so much. Um, I am so excited for this channel because I'm going to be showing you guys amazing stuff like this. And we're going to be showing you guys not only what it is, but how to use it, when to use it, why to use it. And that's about it. That's all I have for you guys. I will be quiet now. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later, okay?